the brother that played um um uh what's him call it um Fred Hampton. I almost lost my train. I was about to say Black Panther, but he was in Black Panther. I almost got mixed up. He said recently, I forgot what his whole name is. So what's his name again? I forgot his brother's name anyway. He said that um he's tired of talking about racism. So we had our brother, Dr. Umar, respond to him saying he's tired of talking about racism. He just wanna be uh, called by his name. He don't want to talk about nothing else. Jamie, can you please play the video? Now you're playing one of the premier revolutionary black freedom fighters in American African history and you get asked a question about racism and race and instead of answering it in support of the people whose hero you playing, you backed off of it. You cowered out of the question, Daniel Kaluuya. And if you want to defend him, go ahead. But he cooned out and I'm going to call it out. He cooned out and I'm going to call it out. He was asked about race and racism. And he said, why do we have to talk about this? And then he said, I'm Daniel, who just happens to be black. Any uh, thoughts? I, 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 listen, <laughs> my thing my thing is I agree with Umar on this. And Umar can say some off-brand stuff sometimes, but you know, I agree with him a lot, a lot of things and some things I don't. My thing is you can't keep playing, taking all these black roles. You take Fred Hampton. Come on, man. That's a revolutionary brother if you can't. You be in Black Panther. You was in Get Out. He did something else. I forgot another one who joined he did. Like, you can't take these roles and say, I'm tired of talking about race. Then you don't should talk about, then don't take roles about race. You're going to be, you're going to be always looked upon but as a Derek, person to discuss that. Derek, indeed, this is the reality of it. Dudes have an allegiance to who's paying them. Yeah, they Queen of Slim, right, that's right, Queen they, of Slim. Yeah, they right, they right, got right. an allegiance to who's paying them. That's what it is. In other words, they do not want to rock the boat. I remember Lauren Hill had um, a line in the Miseducation. She said, the ones on top won't make it stop, afraid that they may fall. And that's just the bottom line. In other words, my man is in Hollywood. He's making that money. He came from overseas, right? Came from over the pond. Yeah, yeah. Making yeah. that money. And so there's already just a detachment from the American black plight right there, probably. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so the, the best way, and so in his mind, he's probably thinking, I'm just going to kind of, you know, deviate from the question mm -hmm. so I don't mm -hmm. be considered a sellout. Mm -hmm. When you mm -hmm. don't feel that question, when you don't feel that question, you already sold out. You already yeah. did. I do agree with Umar Johnson with that. He just did. And, and and I'm saying because he knows if you upset the wrong people, tomorrow your career could be shut down. And, yeah, and no. again, you're not willing to take that risk. Yeah, no, you just said it, Kelvin. He's he a lot of it is he's coming from he's coming from another country. He's coming from England, and he's more of a blank slate. You know what I mean? He gets here, they can just kind of write on yep. what what they need him to do, and he'll just get along because you know, he doesn't, he's not necessarily attached to the black American experience, but he is a bit of more, or at least as attached uh, to that paycheck. You know what I mean? Who's promoting him? Who's, who brought him all the way from over here, there to here to make him a star? Now, you know, now, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. if you ask him how he feel about cruelty to animals, man, would go off. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. No, that's right. There you go. Brad said that we got a little private chat going on. We're going to explain with Brad. Brad said the difference in experience, UK blacks have a different experience of slavery because of the bondage took place out of, outside of the Caribbean. That's true. I think they do have a different uh, perspective on how, how we were treated compared to them. And I think he's just, like you said, I think you both said, I think he's trying to line up his next paycheck. Oh, no, no, no question. The people have this selective amnesia. You know, people research everything when they need to. When You know, if it's a role, my man could play a, a slave in Africa if he needed to. But at the end of the day, he's not going to rock the boat. And, you know, mm -hmm. ask yourself if you really think about it. All of us, ask yourself if you really have a price. If you really have a price, honestly, if, if somebody really could, if there's a certain amount of money that would just get you to be like, you know what, I'm just going to abandon my morals or, or my, my moral compass and say, yo, I'll take the money. Really? All, all, all you can eat cracker brown pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We can't even stop cracker brown, man. Derek, Derek like, DJ yeah, set us back. DJ yeah. set us back. <laughs> but yo, I mean, Free it, it, cracker brown for life. Because it's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a good question. It's a good question. So this is all right. So, so let's let's think about when we talk about the issue about whether you would sell what you had. Right. This is the fear. This is always the fear. You come up with something. 
you're going to either you're going to sell it to me or I'm going to duplicate it and do it better because I got more resources for you. That's right. what it is. You look at and I remember making the statement that Dick Clark offered Don Cornelius money to buy Soul Train and Don Cornelius refused to sell it to him. But here, but but here's the thing. Also, consider when you start a business, you build it up to a certain point. You know what I mean. And you've taken this business as high as you can take it yourself. You can't go any further, right? Mm -hmm. Now, do you still do you have an obligation to outgrow? I mean, to allow the business to outgrow you? You know what I mean? Because now here it is. There are people below you, people who are putting their kids through school, who are, you know, dependent on this check. You know what I mean? Do you have an obligation to sell this business, to blow it up even further, even if that means that you no longer have control of it? But now these other people who are behind you can now have more stable income. You know, they don't have to necessarily uh, depend on you and your, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 and how it is that you have have taken it your your efforts alone i, mean, I, I, I understand that concept what well, i'm saying is the yeah. people that are buying it how did they get to where they are it's a it's a call it's, it's called listen most of the time it's just called uh a a a, 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 a a fundraising round it's just we're just putting out stock we're creating we're, we're, we're creating, i get it i get it stock, and whoever buys it buys it and you know what i'm saying so it's like it's no longer you no longer becomes it no longer becomes one person's company. It's you know it's it's a corporation now. You know what I mean? And you know, no, I, I, I get yeah, that. But you know? this, is, this is my this is my thing. All right, I always tell people this: if a white man could do exactly what LeBron James could do, LeBron James wouldn't have a job. So so we're not we're not on Wall Street. We're not in a lot of these different financial businesses. I mean, you know, sectors. We're not. So where we always had the advantage is supposed to be entertainment and athletics, right? Because we are able to do certain things other people can't do as well as us. So I'm saying you got to take that and leverage that way you can. And Listen, we, we don't do that. We are the we are the we are the finest dish on the menu. You know what I mean? They are consuming us. They're consuming our culture. The Daniel Kaluas of the world, they can just plug him in and sell our culture through him, you know? And that's his, and that's his, that's his point. And he doesn't have the same attachment. If we come to Daniel Kalu and say, "Hey, brother, you know, this is, you know, what, we, what we're talking about right now. Why can't you stand up?" He can disappear back to England if he wants to. Now, see, this you know is I mean? the thing, though, and, and see, this is the trick. There's gonna be a point where he's not as popular, where he's not as hot, and then gonna be sitting there trying to get on the BET after school special. You see what I'm saying? Then they know that. So what I'm saying, when they ready, to, when they done with you, that's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not worth it. At the end of the day, it's really not worth it. I agree. Not, yeah, because what what happens is when they got see what we don't think about is the return trip. See mm -hmm. all that climbing high and stuff like that when they're done with you. See the fame. Fleet, one day it's gonna be it for Kevin Hart. One day it's gonna be it for well, that, That's just what it is. Yeah, that is the bottom line. And so when they have to return you back to these people that you turned your back on. There's nowhere else you can go. Yeah. That's no, it. There's nowhere else you can go. And that's what people need to realize. That's the truth. Yeah, but he made, his money, he made his money before that, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's sitting pretty. So we'll see how it goes for him. Yeah, uh, Stacey like, Dash made her money. A lot of people made their money. But let me tell you something. What I realize is this. If you start winning the game, they change the rules to it. So you got to oh, be conscious right. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>